How to end your unhealthy relationship. Are you content with your relationship? Despite numerous attempts, does it seem impossible to find stability? Is the situation worsening over time? Consider stepping away from this unhealthy dynamic, and here are some suggestions on how to do so. 1. Quit being in denial. At times, you become accustomed to the chaos, failing to acknowledge or even denying that your relationship has turned extremely toxic. You fear losing the person because they've become such a familiar presence. Nevertheless, for the sake of your mental peace and overall well-being, it's crucial to recognize the need to break free from a relationship that constantly undermines your emotional stability. 2. Look at the brighter side. Take a moment to grasp, jot down, and truly comprehend the positive outcomes that could emerge from ending the relationship. The friendships you've lost, the opportunities to connect with new individuals, the liberation to live more freely, they will all return. The butterflies in your stomach have vanished, leaving you discontent. So why subject yourself to unnecessary anguish? 3. Your worth. Simply remaining with someone out of obligation isn't fair to either you or your partner. If your relationship doesn't align with the vision you had at the start, it's essential to recognize that you deserve boundless happiness. Occasionally, prioritizing your own needs isn't just beneficial but crucial. 4. Ask for advice. If you believe there might be a more effective approach to handling your relationship, why not seek guidance from someone who understands both of you and won't be judgmental? Naturally, it's important that the advisor is trustworthy. Don't hesitate to reach out, if you can't think of anyone suitable, consider speaking with a counselor. 5. Be in a positive group. The negativity swirling in your mind might be obscuring your thoughts, so why not immerse yourself in the company of positive people? Sometimes, just being around motivating energy can unveil solutions you hadn't considered before. If you've chosen to end the relationship, positive individuals can also uplift your spirits and help you regain confidence in yourself. Signs your crush is stalking you on WhatsApp. Telltale signs your crush is stalking you on WhatsApp. Many of us have experienced that stage where we attempt to learn more about someone we admire or find intriguing. We turn to the internet, scour social media to see their interests, their photos, and so on. But how can you tell if your crush is keeping tabs on you? Here are some signs that suggest your crush is monitoring your activity on WhatsApp. 1. Typing. This scenario is quite common. When you're eager to text or initiate a conversation with your crush, you find yourself writing and deleting, endlessly waiting until the perfect words come to mind. The same hesitation occurs on their end too. If you suspect that they might have a crush on you, try scrolling through the chat window in the evening or at some random time. You might observe the word typing. And then silence. 2. You change your picture and the person texts. This is an unmistakable indication, without a doubt. The moment you update your display picture on the app, the individual who harbors a crush on you might promptly send a message, expressing admiration for it or simply inquiring about it. They meticulously notice and comment on even the smallest details, whether you've mentioned them or not. 3. Meaning of your status. You adore a song, a word, or perhaps it's your current state of mind. Your constantly changing status reflects it all. Sometimes it might not be anything profound, but the person who has a crush on you will certainly comment on it and inquire about its significance. 4. WhatsApp Missed Calls WhatsApp calls have gained significant importance since the advent of remote work. However, some individuals may attempt to call you and promptly end the call. When questioned, they claim it was a mistake. If this occurrence is frequent and seems random, it could indicate that the person was actively monitoring your online status. 5. Blue Ticks When you message them, 
the ticks turn blue, and they respond promptly. This is a clear indication that they have a crush on you. Ways to get your husband to listen to you. Women, we're all familiar with the challenge of getting your husband to pay attention. Initiating a conversation might feel as daunting as resolving a conflict. In such situations, it's crucial to find a way to ensure your husband listens to you attentively. That's why we're offering you some tips to help you achieve just that. 1. Express your love. Prior to addressing your needs, it's essential to capture his attention and ensure he listens to your requests. This can be achieved by expressing your love more fervently. Engage in affectionate conversations, share sweet gestures, and make him feel truly cherished. Soon enough, he'll be all ears, eagerly attentive to your words. 2. The correct time. Choose the timing and setting wisely when initiating a conversation with your husband. Avoid the common mistake of disregarding his current situation and launching into discussion, even if he's occupied. This approach often derails the conversation, leaving him disengaged. 3. Don't beat around the bush. If you're ready to speak with your husband, there's no need to delay the discussion. Get straight to the point. Your husband will value your honesty and directness. Clearly communicate the issues you've been experiencing and your expectations from him. 4. Check your body language. Steer clear of displaying intimidating body language when communicating with your husband. Monitor your tone, avoiding any sternness that might disrupt the conversation. Sit closely to him and speak in a gentle, warm, and soothing tone, as you would in a relaxed and calm manner. This approach can help to ease the tension and facilitate better communication. 5. Be flexible. Remember that in a discussion, both your perspective and your husband's are significant. Take the time to listen to his needs and desires, and be open to accommodating his decisions. It's selfish to only prioritize your own needs in a marriage because a successful marriage thrives on mutual fulfillment of each other's desires. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.